The Zippo Classic Lighter is made of two components, manufactured separately, the outer case and the inside assembly which houses the mechanics of the lighter. The outer case will end with a chrome finish, but it starts out as raw brass sheet stock. It's fed into the machine and it comes out of the machine where it looks like the shape that we need to make the lighter. 60 tons of pressure form the shape. And when it comes out of the machine, we actually have two pieces. The top and bottom are attached with a hinge that is welded to each of the two pieces. After the hinge is attached, the cases go through what's called a brush finish machine that will sand and wash the cases in preparation for their eventual chrome plating. From the other end, they move on to be nickel coated. Because chrome doesn't adhere to brass, the nickel will function as the glue for the chrome. The cases are dipped into a nickel bath. As the machine lifts, you'll see that the parts are no longer brass, they're covered with nickel. After the nickel plate, the shells are rinsed. Five rinses follow the nickel plate, then they go into the chrome tank. After four minutes in the chrome tank, the case gets that signature Zippo look. The chrome is the finish that we all know, yes. The iconic Zippo case is now complete. Very similar to what we do with the case for the lighter, we do with the inside assembly. It starts off with, in this case, steel. From stainless steel, a 60-ton press machine forms the signature Zippo stack and the housing for all the components needed to spark this lighter. One of them is this tube and plate. The tube ends up being the tube that will house the flint. The flint and the wheel create the spark for the flame. An automated process installs the wheel and the eyelet that the wick goes through. The eyelet, which is a brass component, uh, is applied to the top also. And that eyelet, it attaches the little spring mechanism for the uh, cam. The cam is the hinge between the inner case and outer shell. This is what makes that distinctive Zippo click sound. Next is the wick, which will run the length of the lighter, so it will always be soaking in the fuel. We insert the wick in from the bottom. Then, cotton balls are packed around the wick. The cotton acts as a sponge for the fuel. We put a felt pad on the bottom that covers off the cotton balls so they don't fall out. After the cotton is secured inside, the flint spring is inserted and screwed into place. Once the insert assembly is complete, each lighter is tested. We do a test on every single one to ignite the vapors and create a flame. And true to the Zippo mandate, it's made nearly windproof. Around the chimney, there are holes, and those are strategically put there so that air can come into the chamber, enough air so that the product can light, but it also becomes windproof. Tried and tested, the insert is married up with the case. Okay, this is where you have to take the case out and you have to give it a quick inspection. Each classic Zippo has to stand up to the fastest flick in the factory. Check for the click. Make sure it's all flush here on the sides. And that's it for the classic case. Going one step further, Zippo can customize your case with anything from initials to elaborate designs. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of different images that we put on the outside of a Zippo. Catering to every whim or desire, the finished lighters are boxed up and sent around the world. 28,000 lighters a day are finished and shipped out of this facility. That's a far cry from the first days when George Blaisdell started manufacturing in 1933. My grandfather was importing these lighters from Austria, and the idea came to him about putting a hinge on the lighter itself the Zippo was the first lighter that could be lit with one hand. He wanted one hand operation, he wanted it windproof, and he wanted to guarantee the product for life. Zippo was a small operation until the U.S. government purchased the lighter for GIs overseas during World War II. Actually, World War II made us what we are today. GIs coveted the Zippo lighter. And everything the GIs coveted from the click, the windproof stack, to the one-hand operation all come from the inside assembly. And when you think about a person going through their life, carrying that same Zippo through the good times, through the bad times, it's kind of a friend that you have for a lifetime.